how are you today? <clears throat> yeah, um, I might bring you in a little bit closer just in case you can't hear me. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, do you have time to chat? Let's chat. Okay, you have your coffee? I'm sorry, I'm going to be drinking. I really hope you guys can hear me. Otherwise, this whole video is going to be for nothing. Um, I'm going to be drinking a bit of coffee for this reason. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm not sick. No, I don't have a cold. <sighs> I just went... Oh, whoops. Forgot to take these off. I um, just came back from the hospital. I've been having some problems. Oh, I can't even get these off. Um... I've been having some problems with my throat um, for the last month at least. Um, <clears throat> I, yeah, I thought that maybe it was uh, the Ozempic, that I was having a problem with the Ozempic, um, because I've been having a lot of side effects with the Ozempic. Um, the Ozempic's been making me feel sick all the time. And, well, I told you all the stuff. But anyway, um, so this basically it feels like right here, right where your collarbone meets your neck, right in here. It feels like I've swallowed a pill and it hasn't gone down. And so it just feels like a big lump is right in there. <clears throat> um, every once in a while, it will affect my throat like this. Uh, this is the worst it's been. Um, but anyways, I went to the hospital. I got an x-ray done. There's nothing in there. There's no lump. There's no pill. There's no nothing is in there. Um, so, yeah, so the doctor thinks that I should talk to my doctor about getting off the Ozempic. Um, he doesn't see this being, uh, a symptom of the Ozempic. He doesn't think, he doesn't think that this is from the Ozempic. He's not sure. He says that maybe it's drawing me out and, <clears throat> and um, that that could be a cause for what's going on. He's actually sending me to an ear, nose, throat specialist. And if they feel the need, they are going to do a scope. They are also going to be doing a uh, swallow test, I think it's called. Um, where I swallow dye uh, and they're going to see what's going on. For all I know, this could be my allergies. I never even thought of that until just now. Actually, um, I have allergies um, towards... Uh, Pollen, pollen, yeah, or cottonwood, cottonwood. Um, and there has been a lot of cottonwood going around. I just thought of that, you know, I bet you I wonder if that's what it is. Bloody hell. I, I, well, anyways, whatever it is, we're going to find out. <clears throat> I'm just glad that there's nothing in there for me to worry about. I was having nightmares of tumors and God knows what, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I do know that I have had in the past, I've lost my voice because of the uh, cottonwood. But I haven't had the feeling that um, something's stuck in my throat. I haven't had that before, so... I don't know. Anyway, other than that, I feel okay. 
So, anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, okay, let's talk about some something else. Uh, if you are not a subscriber to Angela at My Precious Yarnery, go check her out. Um, go over there and give her some yarny love. Right now, she has a crochet along going that I was really excited about uh, <laughs> until I found out that there's got there's 200 pieces that I have to do. Um, I'm going to do it. I am going to persevere and I am going to finish it. <laughs> um, her first video is out and you're supposed to make these little strips okay um, and it's a blanket it's a, a kid's blanket not a baby blanket it's a kid's blanket and it's um, you can use it for <clears throat> you know um, when you put the baby down to change their diaper stuff like that because it's really squishy so I'm doing mine in this color and this color. I figured that those two colors would go really nice together. So I have done 20 so far. I got a lot more to go. <laughs> so <coughs> I'm going to have to find, <coughs> I'm going to have to find, um, oh, I know which bag I'm going to use. Hold that thought. I've had this bag sitting around since I got it and it's probably been two years maybe a year and a half something like that and it is the stitch fest bag that I got <coughs> um, Debbie the Canadian crotcheter had these made for stitch fest that we never got to go to uh, thanks COVID um, so this bag is, it's gorgeous. I love this bag. I love this bag. So I am going to use this bag for whoop, all of these. Yes, I'm going to put them in there right now. Yeah. And then I can keep them all in one place. There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyways, go check this cal out, um, cause it, it's a gorgeous blanket. It is really cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, so far from the first video that she did, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. I don't make blankets. I don't, I don't make blankets, right? Um, but this one I'm going to do because it's squares and I figured well I think I can handle squares um, there's four eight twelve twenty I think there's twenty squares that you have to do so um, I'm gonna do it damn it I am going to make a blanket yes I am um, yeah, so go check out her channel. I will leave her link down below. Okay, uh, next up. <clears throat> you probably noticed or heard or maybe you're new to my channel. Hello, people. Um, and I'm not usually like this. Just saying. And I spilled coffee all over my clean shirt. This, this shirt I made um, a couple of years ago and I uh, very very rarely get to wear it um, and of course the one time I wear it I spill coffee on myself that's my life <laughs> anyway um, so anyways I've been I've been making jewelry uh, so far I've been making earrings ear cuffs and um, why can I never remember this name? 
starts with an S. It goes around your ear. Alright, anyway. Oh, good lord. Um, it'll come to me. And when it does, I'll put it here. Uh, oh, hello, Bailey. Um, so anyways, I've been doing that. And I just posted a couple of new ones on my Etsy page and on my Facebook page and all of that. And I, uh, I already sold two. But I'm going to show them to you because I haven't shipped them out yet. Um, hang on. I'll take them out of the bag. Okay. So here is... Here's the ear cuff part. Uh, how am I going to show this? Okay. There's the ear cuff. This part goes around your ear. And then... This is the shepherd hook that goes in. So it goes, the shepherd hook goes in. This goes around here, around the cartilage of your ear. And all you do to make sure it, does, it stays put is you squeeze this a little bit just to tighten it around your ear. Okay, now this comes with this buddy for this ear. You don't have to wear this one. But I, I want to have a set just in case you want to. Okay, so this is an oops elephant set. Isn't that cute? So this is my little elephant African set. That one's still available. Okay. Um, and I'm selling them for $25.00. Uh, shipping included to the U.S. and Canada. I know, crazy. Okay. Now this set... Uh, <coughs> come out, come out, come out. I have pictures and everything up. Whoop. Pictures up on the... Um, on the Etsy and the... My Etsy page is always linked down below as is all of my other media. Okay, so here is the other ear cuff and the little um, heart with the purple stone. Okay, and here's the other earring to go with it. Okay, that one is still available. Again, $25 free shipping. Um, this one is sold. This one sold pretty quickly. Um, I can make another set. And I probably will. <clears throat> I guess I really like it. It's an angel. And it also comes with the second angel for the other ear. Okay, so that set is sold. But if you're interested in it, let me know and uh, I will make up another one. Oops. Okay, this set also sold. Um, I'm planning on making some more in different colors. <clears throat> okay. So those ones already sold. Um, I did a video not too long ago showing you the other earrings that I have, like the bird's nest earrings and everything that I still have available. And um, so go check that one out. I will put that um, up above. Go check out that video. <clears throat> so, um, so I was telling you in one of my past videos about a tool 
that Angela from The Precious Yarn News was bragging about. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Okay. It's called the One and One, um, one Step Looper. Okay. And what this does is it makes your loops on the top of your eye pins, right? So when you have your eye pin and you put your beads on for stitch markers, anybody that makes stitch markers needs this tool. You can get them at Michael's and you can get them on Amazon. Um, this makes your life so much easier. Thank you, Angela. Um, it's, you don't have to sit there with the, your round nose pliers and turn the, the wire anymore. Right? Hello? I didn't know if it was you or Kermit the Frog. Or... I thought Kermit was here. <laughs> it wasn't Kermit. It was Sandy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, don't know. I sound awful. I know. Um, so anyways, this tool does everything for you. Right, you just put the wire through, shows you right here. You put the wire through here and you squeeze it and it cuts the wire for you and it makes the loop easy peasy. I there are so many pieces of jewelry that I've wanted, like cluster jewelry and stuff like that, that I've wanted to do and I've strayed away from it because I did not want to sit there with the round nose pliers bending and turning and bending and turning um that just i was not interested in that at all now that i have these i george is home <laughs> um hold on one second having a little marital spat there <laughs> um <clears throat> So anyways, uh, this, this tool is fantastic. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, but this one is an extra one. Okay. I got this on Amazon and it was taking too long. I was being very impatient. So, um, Michael's finally got a shipment of them in and I ran over there and I bought it and I paid more for those ones than I did for these ones. And then two days later, these showed up. So guess what? For those of you that make stitch markers out there, I'm having a giveaway. Yes, I am. I know, right? These retail for 30 to $40. Okay, but they are an invaluable tool. If you make any kind of jewelry or stitch markers, I'm telling you right now. So, um, what I want you to do is make a comment down below and just say, uh, looper, L-O-O-P-E-R. Looper is, I, I put it right here, um, and just put that in your comment, and then I will draw this on Monday. Let's do it on Monday. Okay, and uh, let's see who wins. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. You're going to love these. You really are. Okay, uh, so yay! Another giveaway. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this weekend on Saturday is the first dragon boat race that George is going to be in. I'm not paddling. I paddled one day. I went on last Thursday. Was it last Thursday or the Thursday before? I was down for a week. It's been so long since I've paddled. My body just went, no, uh-uh. So I realized that I'm going to have to um, go into this very slow. I'm basically a beginning paddler all over again, which really ticks me off. Because I 
been I've been paddling for about six years. And because of COVID, we weren't allowed to paddle for two and a half years. And um, so, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to try and paddle on Saturdays just to break me in. Um, and then next year, I will start racing again, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, I had an MRI on my back this morning before I went into emergency. Uh, so we're going to find out the results of that. Um, I, they're going to get that back in a couple days. And then I'm going to have to go to see, talk to a surgeon. And I don't know why, because there's nothing they can do about what's going on in my back. <clears throat> but whatever. Um, so it'll be just nice to see uh, exactly what's going on in my back. I already know it's lots of arthritis and bone spurs and God knows what else. And that, you know, I've got a bulging disc and a ruptured disc in my back. I already know that. I've already had surgery. Um, they never went in to fix anything. All they did was they cleaned around the discs <clears throat> um, because there was a lot of debris when the, the disc ruptured and it was pressing on nerves. So they went in and they cleaned all that up. Um, but I don't know. Maybe there's more debris. Maybe the other one ruptured. I don't know. But yeah we'll find out so anyways um so paddling but the funny get this i go and i paddle and i'm sitting there and i'm i'm doing my thing right my back didn't hurt it was my arm i pulled <clears throat> i pulled a muscle down here in my fat fat wing I pulled a muscle right down here, even right now, just pulling like that. Oh, it hurts here. And it's already been over a week. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, that. And then a couple days later, my whole back, it was, just, it was all muscle pain, like bad muscle pain. And I was down for a week. Yeah, so I was not happy. Not happy at all. Hello. Can I take the dash mobile? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, so anyway. Uh, yeah. So I have to go into this really slow. And uh, Saturdays is kind of there. You know, just paddle for the sake of paddling days. There's no race pieces. There's no, you know, anything like that. So I it's going to break me in um, over the winter time or over the summer and over the win well, the winter. And then once I get back into it, then I can get on the other boat and I can start doing race pieces and stuff again. That's my hope. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so anyway, um, another thing I wanted to talk about, I've been sending out special stitch markers for people that have buy, been buying my earrings and stuff like that. Um, I've been sending out stitch markers that I got made for my bit for Crochet A Canada. And people are seeing, um, you know, you guys are seeing people open these packages. And I'm, I want to explain something. I never showed these. So... <clears throat> These are not for sale. These are specifically for um, people that have, are, you know, if I do gifts, if I do giveaways, um, like the person that gets this is going to be getting one. Um, I got these made by Cass at Cass Crafts, Cass Custom Crafts, no, Crafts Custom. I always get that mixed up anyways i'll leave her link down below she makes so many things it's insane um, and she does a fantastic job this was a custom job um 
I told her what I wanted. I even uh, did the design up for um, the maple leaf and everything. <clears throat> and she did her magic and it came out fantastic. So I'll show you what it looks like. I might be, uh, let's see, okay, there. I don't know how close I can get, but anyway. It's a maple leaf. I love the red on this maple leaf. This is my logo, or kind of my logo. Um, but anyways, it says Crochet Canada on it. But the funny thing is, is that everybody, oh, and it's got um, sparklies on the back. The funny thing about this is everybody that is getting these hasn't got a clue that there is a furls hook that goes right across here. And I designed it that way. But I think it's hilarious that everybody sees the crochet egg. They first see the, the maple leaf and they go, oh, that's so cool. That's so Canadian. And then they look closer and go, oh my goodness, it says Crochet Canada. But nobody has noticed the furls hook. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> so, anyway, <coughs> anyways, um, so that is that is what I'm doing. So my dog is whining. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So any kind of giveaways or anything like that, people are getting this. I just noticed this is. The, the light is hitting this wrong and we can't even see this. I had that made for me by um, Lynette at Charm Grammy Crochet. She, this is what she does. She does um, glass, glass work. And uh, she makes these yarn balls. She does, I don't think she sells them, but she was giving them to, um, to YouTubers and stuff. And I got that one, and I was just so happy about it. So, oh, Bailey's all depressed. Hang on. Bailey, come here. Come on. You want to say hello? Come on. Up. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There we go. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Yeah. This is my puppy, Bailey, for those of you that are new. She is my... My other, other half. <laughs> she is my other half to my whole, um, right? Yeah. Um, I, she's a rescue. We've had her now for, how long have we had? Six years? Six years, seven, six years maybe? Um, she was two when we got her. She came from an abusive home. And if you ever notice pictures of her, her fur is pretty long right now, but you can, you'll be able to see she has a scar that goes right across her nose. When she gets a haircut, you really notice it. Um, and it's because the people that used to have her put elastic bands around her nose to keep her from barking. <sighs> right? Right. Yeah. It was a pretty sad scene. But considering that she was abused, she is such a loving dog. She is like, she is just, oh, right? She's such a loving dog. So, yeah. She's a big suck. Oh, my God. She loves attention. She loves attention. Yeah. So, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, down you go. Um... <clears throat> So anyway, that's my puppy. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk to you guys about. Um, for those of you that are watching my movie marquee challenge that I'm doing with Heather the Crochet Witch, I did a bag uh, for the first part of this week. Um, I did not get the wood handles. What I did do, though, is I found... Um, 
uh, a tutorial that came up on my feed and the way that she did this handle was amazing and so I ran out and I bought the supplies I needed and I'm going to make it and I will show you guys that on uh, uh, what's the date today I don't even know um, my second video is going to be coming up soon within a few days anyway um, so yeah it's really cool <clears throat> it's really cool so I'm just hoping it works out um, also uh, for my 12 project collab that I'm doing with Hootie Jeanette from Miss Hootie yeah Miss Hootie Hooten and Scraps um, her tutorial is out or her pattern is out for her um, dinosaur so her link is down below go check her out and um, she's giving away a free pattern to go with that pattern um, I still haven't started mine yet I have all oh, you guys uh, the stuff I have been doing I'm gonna be showing you maybe next week um, I've been doing a lot of stuff that uh, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that next week. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I haven't got that done yet. I haven't finished the bag yet. Oh my goodness. I started, okay, here's something. I started doing, oops, oops. I started doing another, um, shirt, like a summer summer shirt this I started doing the second part to this there's the neck hole I ran out and I can't get this I can't get any more but it's the um, the cotton funnel cake um, I can't remember the name. Uh, what's the name of this one? I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, you can see this. It's the pinks and purple one. If you guys happen to have one, I just need one. Um, please let me know. I will pay for it. I will pay for the shipping if you're willing to let go of it. I know the cotton funnel cakes. I, I'm, I hoarded them. I thought I had another one. But I didn't. And I'm so choked about it. Um, but yeah. It's, it's the pink. Pink and purple. It's not the one that's purple. A lot of purple. But this one's. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Darn it. Um, so anyways, yeah. Let me know. Because I really want to finish this. And, um, yeah. It's a bummer. I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't get another one. I may have to just frog the one half and then do the back in a solid or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, anyway. I think that's everything I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know uh, yeah that's all I can think of right now I gotta go rest my throat okay um, I will talk to you guys later keep an eye out on my <clears throat> if you're not part of my Facebook group go check it out uh, also um, go check out my Facebook store page that's linked down below as well um and it will show you any of the jewelry that i am finished uh or any projects that i like am selling or whatever um yeah i have some cool stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks guys so ah uh, i'm so excited um so anyways i will talk to you guys later i love you all and uh yeah check back soon okay love you bye, bye.